hi there welcome back to my channel i've been making a new video about bad worship leader behaviors but this is the part one series sit tight and enjoy the video if you're a worship leader sit tight i'm gonna show you some things that you have been doing wrongly in this video A worship leader leads the congregation to where he or she has been before, which is the presence of God, meaning he must have access to God's presence and have a good relationship with Him. Behavior number one is they tend to lead people to themselves instead of to God. Basically, what they do is that they, distract, they are distracting the congregation through probably doing a lot of riffs and runs, and through the appearance, they may be too flashy or sloppy. At times, you can see that there is no genuineness in what they do, as they are fake. They just want to know, they just want people to know that they can sing. Check out what John chapter 13 verse, 12, 13 verse 32 says. It says, if Jesus is lifted up, he will draw all men to himself. Behavior number two is focusing on the instrumentation rather than the worship. Whatever you have to do musically in practice should be done while practicing. Once on stage, focus on the worship, not on the instrumentations again. You, have, you should have done your homework before then. The third one is they, are, they can be selfish. They think of themselves alone not knowing or unaware of their audience or followers. Being aware of your audience or your followers, you could identify if they are elderly or they are young people or, or you communicate with them with the language they understand. Assuming you have elderly persons that can, or maybe an elderly person that cannot stand to his feet, probably because of one sickness or the other, you can actually tell him, ah, just relax, stay on your seat and worship the Lord, but just give him your heart. That way the person will be able to communicate and join you in worshiping God. At times they close their eyes throughout the whole worship session or they are not aware of what is happening in their environment. They basically sing whatever they like, even if the congregation does not know how to sing it or does not understand what they are singing. The next uh, behavior is that they assume that the whole congregation understands the meaning of what they are doing. Example, not everyone knows the meaning or, or the significance of a shout, or to raise your hands in worship, or to even clap, or what's still, not even everybody knows the meaning of the lyrics of the songs you sing. Thank you for watching part one. Watch out for part two and kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the like button and please leave a criticism and a comment on the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Thank you very much.